Hello. Today I'm going to take you through the newest features in our most recent release of Edge on Site, October 30th, 2019. Our overview screen shows our newest simplified interface design. No longer does a customer have to go to the menu container on the left hand side. We can now quickly move through the application using the tabs at the bottom, going from overview to pages to reports, tasks, documents, and then finally, materials. Materials are now available in Edge on site two different ways. They can be viewed at the shape level per condition, or they can be viewed for the entire project as you see from the tab currently represented on the screen. If I go to my overview screen, we now also have the ability to see a breakdown contained inside of each one of our codes per the unit of measure. So our AC grid labor is currently showing me that I also have inches and square foot contained inside of that. If I'm highlighted on just the cost code itself, I'm going to see the corresponding hours as we've always shown in previous versions of the application. If I select and expand those out, I then get the unit of measure contained. I'm going to be able to see my estimated actual tracked unit of measure as well as any remaining values that I have for that particular code. This feature is also available on our pages screen. New functionality that's been added here is your ability to see that breakdown by either the section or the page. If I select my section and long pressed, I'm going to get the exact same breakdown that I would see at the overview screen corresponding only to the section. If I come in here and select the page, I'll get the exact same breakdown showing me what's contained inside of that individual page as well as the breakdown by unit of measure. This is going to offer you a little bit more insight as far as the total completion that's represented inside of each one of these as opposed to the total overview of the project. If I move into this, I'm also going to go ahead and see that the interface here has changed slightly. We now offer all the tooling along the right hand side instead of at the top of the menu. Also one thing that you'll notice is we no longer have the lock available on this screen. And that's now because you simply drag your finger, it's going to activate the lock. Whereas panning now is two fingers instead of a single finger as before. One of the additional functionalities we've added in here is now a full screen option. So the icon to the top at the right is going to allow me to go into a full screen mode that's going to allow me to preview my background image much larger per the screen size that I have for the iPad. Some of the other functionality that we've added in here now is also the ability to see total quantity and input a total quantity when selecting a single labor item. So if I expand this thing out and select that, if I come over here and select my shape, now I'm actually getting total unit of measure of completion for the shape. Whereas before it always defaulted to percent complete. Now if you still would like to see percent complete, that option is still available by referencing the settings that we have in here. Whereas production only will remove hours, that's a new setting, and then the production itself is going to be either percentage or quantity based. And right now we have ours turned on for quantity. So as I said, production only will remove the capability of adding hours inside of the iPad. If I hit that, now you can see on the bottom where my slider is, it now extends fully over to the completed, whereas before we used to be able to input hours and workers there. That functionality is still available, you just have to activate it in the settings. Like I said, we are able to input a direct quantity in here instead of relying on those percentages. And I can do that by simply selecting a single labor item from our production screen, as you see before you. So it's going to inform me what my initial quantity was, so what I've already completed, and then I can add to that any additional quantity, and it's already going to aggregate that for me once I put that value in there and increase my total percentage. Once I save everything there, I can then move back 
and input my production just as I always would through my daily production screen, still referenced under the menu. Once I input all of that, I'm going to move over to our portal. So since we've removed the hours from the iPad application, we now track all of that through the administrative portal. So here I am on my same project. Now I'm no longer tracking hours. So I have to go in here and I'm going to manually input them. But we've made some changes here as well. We have now offer a consolidated view, which is going to consolidate each one of your user codes by unit of measure from this screen. But we've also input an edit hours button here at the top. Now what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to look for any production within a given date range as you see on the screen here. So anything that I've submitted today is now going to show up. I can go ahead and expand these out and see what labor items are contained in each one of these if they're any different than what I have on the screen currently. If I go ahead and apply any hours in here, they're going to apply due to the weighted value that I'm going to have from the estimate itself. So here I've gone ahead and put in my actual hours at the cost code level. And then I can go ahead and save those. And those are going to apply to whatever I've done today. So here are my updated totals. And it's automatically going to start calculating everything that I have based off of the new values that I've put in here. Here my miscellaneous is broken down into my cubic yards and total lineal foot. So I get my breakdown, whereas before it was consolidated down into a single miscellaneous labor item. So these are going to be based off of the values that I have coming from the estimate as to how those hours are distributed. So this should make it much easier for those that are no longer tracking total time out in the field through the iPad application itself. It's going to allow you to do it on the back end through the administrative portal. So those are the new features that we've added in our most recent release, again, available October 30th, 2019. If you have any additional questions about any upcoming changes to the application or about today's changes, please feel free to reach out to us at product at estimatingedge.com. Take care.